Izzy, this is Mr. Truck and Izzy Show. We're driving this 2023 Pro 4X Frontier 2023, and it's a loaded off-road puppy, but it's blowing like crazy, like it does in Colorado. So mm -hmm. we're gonna do a two-split intro. This yep. is Izzy. There we're she is, inside, right there. Nice and warm. Yeah, heated seats, heated steering wheel. It's yeah, cozy. We're cozy in here. We don't want to get out. Not no, today. no, no. Too much wind. It'll blow me away. So tell me. What this is a 3.8 V6 nine speed. Mm -hmm. How much is our power on this puppy? We have 310 horsepower and 281 torque. Awesome. Well, that ought to get us somewhere. Mm -hmm. That nine speed. We're pulling this trailer real well. We have 5,000 pounds behind us. Not the ideal trailer for this truck, but it's working. Yep. Is he's keeping it on the road with both hands? Yeah, I'm holding on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is our our split intro because we can't go outside. This is just not nice out there. Terribly windy, but yeah, this Pro 4X crew cab, four wheel drive with low range and all that, is an interesting truck. I've always liked these. Now this one because it's an off road package, it rides a little rough, but you know we're up here in the high country and I think it's doing pretty well. But you know if we had the right trader, we could go clear up to six thousand two hundred and seventy pounds. But you know it's. It's cool. I was gonna look at what this is. It's twenty percent Japanese and forty percent Canadian U.S. So it's, it's put together in Canton, Mississippi. That, yeah, Missouri. Anyway, the engines in Japan. Everyone else seems to be coming from North America. But this is their mid-sized truck. So join us for the review. I like these wheels. And the nose of this looks pretty slick. LED lights look like they're squinting. Squinting eyeballs there. And I guess that's volcanic, volcano red tow hooks. I do like the bash plate, aluminum bash plate steel, steel skid plates. You know, all these all terrain tires look pretty good. A good tread. Yeah, that camera's part of your 360 system on here. But yeah, and there you go. There's the bed. So there's that rail I like, and it got one across the front. And that allows you to tie things and hold the cargo down. It's a really important thing is to not let the cargo fly out of the truck. You got tie downs everywhere besides the track. There's an outlet using our Gen Y hitch. And we're using the weight distributing system, so I've had that forever. So I had to cold this in. And here is our Kurt Echo. So I really like these puppies. You just plug it in the truck, plug the trailer into it, and you use your phone for a brake controller. And this truck did not come with it. And here we are, my trailer. 5,000 pounds. What's this camera doing here? Our tow haul mode, I had to look for it for a minute. It's up here. And then we got our brightness up here. And I think That's, this is alarm for. Well, it's a, yeah, it's a 360 thing, I think. Yeah, so you know what's around you. Yeah. And then you have the power button to your 150 watt, 400 watt. Uh, we got a cargo lamp here. Your downhill descent. Yeah. Got an off road button. In the rear axle button. Yeah, that's that locker. Cool. Yes, indeed. Oh, look at it. The inside of your boots, same color as this puppy, with yeah. volcanic red or whatever. I'm matching. <laughs> matching the truck. Oh, cool. So, this is your dream truck? Is that what you said? No. <laughs> okay. It's nice. It's really nice, though. Yeah. Windy Colorado. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think? I know you're what five foot eight. Yep, I'm we pretty think tall. I think yes. I'm sick. <laughs> I don't want to so get got... it all dirty. It's so clean. I know it's okay. We're in the muddy, muddy part boots. of Fort Collins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so you it's got not headroom. Bad. Yeah. Not a lot, but how much? Well, your knees are in the air, so we know that's not comfortable for long trips. But no. Oh well. Oh, it's got a folding armrest. That's something for it. Yeah. My Some grandkids couplers. love that stuff. 
Yeah, it's yeah. not too bad. It's pretty comfy. Yeah, let's see if those cotton pink. Oh, I love the the quilted look with the honeycomb and the seats. Yeah, that's nice looking. And I love the, the stitching, you know, it's that volcano thing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, what is that Should that's I... is that one piece seat? Maybe it is. So yeah, climb back out and see if you can fold side. that puppy up. Let's check out our storage. Oh, look at that. Wow. Cool. It's got a so bend down ours. there. Yeah, let me open this one up. So it's got a lever there. Far out. Oh, wow. There it is. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then those look like those unscrew. You can take those out too if you want to put your big screen TV in there. Mm -hmm. That's kind of nice. Yeah, that's enough room for yeah. something. Cool. Pretty good. I like these seats. Pro 4X. Let me see. There's all this orange on these handles. I guess these are the oh shoot handles down low like an ATV has. But yeah, and I do like the screen. I guess I need to see what size it is. I'll read that to you. But it's a good size screen for this size of a truck. Of course, independent temperature control and all kinds of USB plugs. It's got a heated seat and heated steering wheel, which is awesome for the size of a truck. And there's our brake controller. Big console pocket. You can put a good sized pistol in there. Not that you want to do that. <laughs> I've had to use this in four wheel drive to get through my yard. So is this your next truck? <laughs> Too small. Uh, Too small? Okay. Too small. Okay. That's how it goes. It's very nice though. Yeah, I, I like the looks of them. I think yeah. Oh, a 12 volt. Nice. I could have brought my tire pressure monitoring system far out. Yep, we're up here in the high country. Let me get my drone license so I can start doing all this from the drone. Mm -hmm. Don't go away, Mr. Truck.TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> but yeah, and I do like the screen. I guess I need to see what size it is. I'll read that to you. But it's a good size screen for this size of a truck. Of course, independent temperature control all kinds of USB plugs. It's got a heated seat and heated steering wheel, which is awesome for the size of a truck. And there's our brake controller. Big console pocket. You can put a good size pistol in there. Not that you want to do that. <laughs> I've had to use this in four wheel drive to get through my yard. So is this your next truck? <laughs> Too small. Uh, too small? Okay. Too small. Okay. That's how it goes. It's very nice though. Yeah, I, I like the looks of them. I think yeah. Oh, a 12 volt. Nice. I could have brought my tire pressure monitoring system far out. Yep, we're up here in the high country. Let me get my drone license so I can start doing all this from the drone. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hold on tight. <laughs> <coughs> well, we're going to Poudre Canyon again, Izzy and me, and we're doing the 2023 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X Crew Cab 4x4 Automatic V6. You need all the details about this rascal. We're pulling a trailer. I was going to pull my green one, which is you know the small one. I could have put a side by side and been 3,000 pounds but couldn't get it out of snow. We had so much snow. I don't know what, I'm, I'm living in some kind of Antarctica area. Yeah, so we I, don't have any. Yeah, I mean, most places I go, I go to the mountains, there's no snow, but my place is still two feet deep. And I got stuff still stuck in there. But uh, I pulled them out a few times now, they're full of snow again. But, so I thought I'd bring this one now. This truck is rated to a 50 
270 pounds. No, I'm sorry, 6,270 pounds. The trailer I'm pulling out is my eight and a half foot, 22 foot uh, low trail tilt car trailer. And it's 5,000 pounds empty, so that's what we're pulling. So I could have put my side-by-side -side Honda in here. We would have been right at 6,250. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to do that. I want to just use this by itself. Now we have, um, or of course, a Gen Y hitch and weight distributed on there to kind of control the sway. Because as you can tell, the truck is a lot narrower than the trailer. Yeah. So we're triangulating, which means it makes a pendulum on the back once the sway. So we've got the you know, spring arms tightened up. And you can see this thing here, this is the Echo brake controller. Because this truck, even though it's ready to tow over 6,000 pounds, does not have a brake controller. So we're using the uh, the Kurt Echo. And I'll show you pictures of that back there on the, in the truck. But you just plug it in, you know, where your plug-in goes from your trailer. And then your phone becomes your activation. You see the big orange. Oh, you must be hitting your brakes. Because it went to peach color. And if you're not braking, oh, yeah. it turns orange. That was a good demonstration. <laughs> We dialed it in. I was locking up a little bit earlier, but that's a, that's a real simple way to get trailer brakes. Just plug it into your truck and plug the trailer into that. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So we got that, but you got to leave it on when you're driving. I don't know if it takes up a lot of juice or not. But this has got a charger too, so I guess we're fine. We can charge the phone while we're doing all this. But it's a neat little truck. I mean, this came out what, two or three years ago. A whole new model for Nissan's Frontier. And this one's like loaded, loaded. Payload on it's 1,230, which is decent for the size of a truck, mm -hmm. you know. And it's a crew cab, so you can haul the, the little ones in the back. I'm talking about the kids, because adults don't fit back there. We're going to see just how well Izzy fits in the back seat of this, because it's not much. <coughs> Maybe a little bigger than a Maverick, but I don't think much. You know, they're very similar. No, yeah, I don't think it's too much bigger. And this one is an off-road package and we'll tell you all the cool stuff on it, but of course that makes the ride rough and you can tell we're bouncing a little bit even with the trailer taut, you know, holding the back end of the truck down. But this off-road package, you know, it's got some stiffer shocks and, and different tires, but yeah, you bounce around more in this. So again, if you want something that will go off-road and tow trailers and, you know, take it to work, you got to kind of split the difference on that. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find a truck that has everything good unless you're spending, you know, $100,000. And this one is only $46,380. That's pocket change to someone like you, is he? Oh, I wish. <laughs> well, this will pull a two-horse trailer well. Yeah. And it's probably a little smaller than your Toyota. Is that a, is that a Tundra, isn't it? The first series of Tundra. So, it is, yep. So it wasn't real big, but it's bigger than this one. <clears throat> and this one on the highway is rated to get uh, 22, and I've been getting that with it without a trailer. 17 city. And you know, that's it's amazing. These little, this is a mid sized truck. It used to be the mid size and the compacts would get super fuel mileage, but that was in the 70s and 80s. Now they, I mean, this is a 22 miles a gallon. That's what a lot of the F 150s get with EcoBoost. Mm -hmm. You know, so. I think there should be an advantage when you get into a compact truck where it gets better fuel mileage. I don't quite understand that because they got way less. Of course, they got smaller engines. And this is a 3.8 V6. This is a bigger engine that they came out with a few years back, actually, one year before they came out with this new model change. So it's one of the bigger, bigger, actually, engines in this mid sized class. And I always liked these Frontiers, I always thought they were fun trucks to drive. It's a nine-speed automatic, which I guess they all figure out which ones they want because the nine-speed seems to be a, like a Japanese thing. Ten-speed mm -hmm. seems to be an American thing, and, and six-speeds can be anybody. But yeah, there's there's a lot of Nissans that have seven speeds in them. So <coughs> I guess they all have been different engineers and they decide different things. But a nine-speed should, should get you better fuel mileage. This rascal has got everything. It's a pretty loaded I'm trying to figure out all the options on this thing. So it's a full page of options. It's got all the, the orange accents. I guess it's orange. Orange threads in here. And, uh, you know, yeah, the, it's the like handlebars. A blood orange, almost red. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a fluorescent looking color on some of it. But yeah, it's 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 a good looking truck. I don't know. Little bad thing go off the edge. Well, that's true, and you're doing good, but you know, because of how wide the trader is, it is wanting to move around a little, so you got to hang on to it and get away from you really quick. Mm -hmm. Run narrow roads, so you're doing good. You're just quite the trucker there, is he? trucks and a lot of women so you know you yeah. don't have hardly any 18 speeds they're all automatics okay. so they're making it easier than now they've got ABS brakes mm -hmm. all the stuff that I never had when I was driving trucks so they're getting easier and easier but you know you're still pulling 80,000 pounds or 85,000 yeah so you got to be paying attention once you get used to that rig turning corners and backing up you got the whole thing figured out right then you get your CB Breaker Breaker 19. You got to come up. Yeah. They make pretty good money these days. Oh, well, they do. They got big siding bonuses. Yeah. First, if you're driving for somebody else and you got your own expenses, you got a lot of expenses. Yeah. The tires are terribly priced and everything else. Where are those logs coming from? around those big rocks. It's finally warming up. It's 46 degrees. I know. Man, it's summertime. It's a nice year. Yeah, I wish it's it was 46. It's been in the like, mid-40s all week. Yeah, we need it in the 50s in my place before we ever see the ground again. Oh, well. Flatbed, so you can see where the fenders. Yeah. So you can actually nice. see, but normally I would put a bigger mirror on this trailer. Yeah. You know, the clip on whatever it was, and I like the narrower trailers. I don't really want to teach people to use a big giant trailer with a little truck because it does triangulate. You know, you get a pin, a, 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 what's that called, pendulum action. Pendulum, yeah. Because the back end is wider and it makes it move around. And this one is definitely even. I got a really good weight distributing hitch from Gen Y and their adjustable hitch and all of that stuff. I saw that big yellow strap on my spare tire back there. I saw it. Yeah, the dang thing's breaking all the bolts out. I miss they must just shake like crazy going down the road. Huh. So I'm tying it on there so it fall off and hit somebody. I'll have to start doing some more welding on it. Two speed transfer case, so this is capable of going off road. I didn't see the mode button for this, I saw the mode for everything else. Four high, four low. It's got limited slip. Four wheel drive, brake, limited slip. It's got bile steams or bill steams, whatever the hell they're called, off road shocks. And this, wow, so it's got limited slip on the active brake and limited slips. Okay, it uses the brakes just like it does with the ABS system. And then it still has an electronic locking rear differential. Is there a button? There's got to be a button for that somewhere. I think it is. It's on your side at the bottom. Is a locker. We'll show that on camera here in a little bit. Okay, so that's a 9-inch display. It looks bigger than that. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, it looks like at least 10 inches, but anyway. Bluetooth's all over the place on this. It's a nice screen, not easy to read. Yeah, it is. It's bright. It's actually backed up to this trailer. 
<clears throat> it's just a little dark, so I guess I can even go into the menu and see if there's a way of changing the contrast and mm -hmm. white balance or something because it's just a little too dark to see the traders like I want it to. And it does have tool haul mode, which I is on your side. I did turn it on when I was driving. I don't know if it's still on or not. It would say it. No, it's not on. But it shows up on your left console, your left um, digital, because that's tachometer. It says tow on it. There's a button that says tow. When you get a chance to push it it's somewhere see, yeah. In the, yeah, on the left side. Do whatever's safe. We're in rear wheel drive, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then if you push that, it locks in the rear wheel drive. Okay. So that's kind of how that is. Trigger sway control tow haul mode. Yep. Unique leather steering wheel shifter. Steering was a shifter on there? Plates. Mm -hmm. I don't see a shifter. No I don't paddles. See it right now. Yeah, yeah. No paddles. Good line to me. Unique steering stitching. Manual tilt wheel. Second row under seat storage. You got to remind me to do that when we get in the back seat. We'll flip that up and see how big the storage is. Yeah, 17 inch painted pro alloy wheels. All terrain tires. Aluminum front skid plate. Underbody steel skid plates. That looks cool on the front. Looks like it's really hefty duty. LED headlamps, signature LED high beams. Uh, power outside and mirrors, of course they are. Lava red tow hooks. That's what they think this color is. Lava, Lava red. red. Whoa. That orangey red. Yeah. Sprayed in bed liner. And they got great uh, utility track system. I, these are one of the best ones out there. They came out with that when, when Titan was born. So you can tie everything down. It's got tracks on the side, maybe even the bed. Mm -hmm. That's great. I like those. Heated outside mirrors. Heated steering wheel. Heated front seats. Trailer hitch it does have all that. It has the plug in, which doesn't have brake control. Moving object detection. Intelligent around you mirror. Wireless charging. And this is, it's got the floor mats that are Pro 4X carpeted and the Pro Premium package for $2,790 that gives you the Fender Premium Audio with 10 speakers and the leather pointed front and rear seats. Leather appointed means the middle, I guess. And the auto dimming outside mirror. Sliding mirror. If it's a little one, it's a little got mini one. Yeah. And then let's see the B-Lock style alloy wheels. It's all part of that Pro Premium package. Auto tilt and slide with roof. Yeah. And then the next package is nine hundred and ninety dollars. Technology package. Lane departure warning. Blind spot warning. Rear cross traffic alert. Rear sonar system, rear automatic braking, intelligent cruise control, traffic sign recognition. Boy, honey, hmm. it's just full of stuff. Traffic sign recognition. Yeah, so if it tells you when the speed limit says something. There have been a lot of vehicles lately that actually try to control you when you go to the speed limit. Oh. And I thought, no, 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 nobody can control Mr. Chet. <laughs> He's out of control. This is the Frontier Off-Road Package. Midnight Edition. Oh, it's in that's what's available. The SV Crew Cab. Five. 